Florida is already feeling the impacts of climate change in the forms of increased storm frequency and severity, droughts and fires, floods. But we know that one of the most important things that we can do to blunt the worst of the effects of climate change is to make sure that we are shifting our energy sources to renewables. That's why solar energy is so very important to Florida's energy future. If you've never been to one of these sites, it's only natural to wonder, what will this mean for me? But we want Floridians to be excited and comfortable about having solar facilities in their communities. That's why we've brought together some of the state's best solar experts, as well as real people who live near these places to tell you what their experience has been like. Some of the concerns they voiced to me was, you know, is it safe um, health-wise? Um, what kind of rays are being uh, given off the panels? And But they put our minds at ease and I was able to transfer that ease to the citizens. Solar sites in Florida are a great neighbor to have. They're clean, safe, and quiet. And they use non-reflective glass that has so little shine that they're even safe to be used near airports where glare can be a real hazard. There is no noise. And so when I'm in my house, I don't see any activity. If I'm out here either in the yard or working in my studio, I would be aware of a, of a car or a pickup driving on their roads, but there is no noise. No, it's not that noise. And I haven't heard anybody um, complain about the noise at all. So I haven't had any complaints because I'm the one that gets the complaints. I recently rode the trail, the bike trail that's real next to our solar plant. And I stopped and I just stood there and listened and I didn't hear anything. <laughs> you know, it's, it's perfectly quiet, you know, it's just like being out in the wilderness still. People are leaving and moving up to where it's less crowded, but it's it has not affected, for me personally, any downturn in terms of what I asked for for the property and what we were offered. Obviously, we're in a unique time here. There's not enough, I'm a realtor by trade, so we have, not enough homes right now for the demand that we have. So we are not seeing any kind of impact from our solar farm. Already, Florida has over 6,500 megawatts of solar installed, which produces enough power for nearly 800,000 homes and creates 11,000 jobs. What's, what's exciting is it's not just great from the green footprint standpoint, it's also proven to be economically sound. And then for the rest of our folks, I mean, we're providing job opportunities and career opportunities and you know, for, for not only themselves, but their families and what that's going to mean for their generations to come. I mean, these are, you know, for the first time, I think, in, in Florida, we're building careers in renewable energy. More solar is good for Florida. It's good for providing career opportunities, job opportunities. You know, we're literally changing the, the energy landscape in the state, right? The tide is turning towards this renewable energy. So we drive all over the state, right, to go to these projects. And so I think about, you know, in the future, driving my kids to Disney World and pointing out, hey, we built that solar project and we were part of, you know, that renewable energy facility with energy storage. And, you know, we, we made this happen. Climate change is the greatest threat the birds have ever faced, and we know that as they go, so do we. Solar power is one of the most important things that we can do for both their future and for ours.
Thank you.